Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and today we are moving. I can't even believe I'm saying it. Been in the works for a while and today is the actual day <laughs> my brain is in a million places but i feel like i should start with if you're new to my channel hi my name is brooke basically the situation is i live in a one bedroom apartment here in the lower east side in manhattan in new york city i am moving to another one bedroom it's actually in the same building it's just a little bit larger has a balcony and it's upgrade season i really like my building a lot i just wanted a little bit more space so when this unit i knew was like opening up i hopped on it i think my movers are coming soon but basically the stuff that we've done to prep my current apartment because obviously we're moving out and moving in so we took down i had a big bookcase here and then in the bedroom i had a neon sign i had some other stuff like hanging all over this apartment my dad came and helped us take that all down but I'm actually using Roadway Moving to help me move. They're actually packing everything for me. So while I did organize just a few things and like tote bags and whatever, most of my stuff, they are coming, they're packing and doing the whole thing for me. And I know I have a code. If you want to use Roadway, you can use the code BrookMichio10 and that's going to get you 10% off your move. Or you can use the same code and I think for long distance moves, you'll get 5% off. So savings all around off the link down below. I've heard great things and I'm really excited to be like using them today. So yes, things are really everywhere. I'm getting a little emotional because I just feel like my life changed so much in this apartment in a really, really good way. And in the past, I feel like living environments have been, I'm not gonna say toxic, but I've been like so excited to leave them. And this one, even though it's not like too dramatic of a leaving situation because I'm staying in the building, I am just like excited to move, but at the same time, I had a really great experience here and I feel like a lot happened in the past year grew a lot as a human and I can't wait to see what happens next year like what some other bags that I just have ready but then I like still like my bed and everything here so they really should come and do everything but just wanted to show you that also something that's very exciting about today is that my mom is coming this was very unplanned I actually wasn't even supposed to be here for this move I just got back literally a few hours ago from a trip <laughs> to Colorado and our flights got canceled, other flights got delayed. Somehow we made it back here. I was supposed to go on another trip and meet my mom there. Unfortunately, just with the timing, I would have only been there for a few hours, so it just didn't make sense to go. So my mom actually is leaving that trip and coming here and she's gonna help me move. While everything is a little all over the place, I'm very thankful to have her to come help me and I am actually happy to be here because I feel like there's a lot that I needed to take care of. So I feel like it's like the universe's way of being like, no, you need to be here. And Mercury is in retrograde. So things are just like hitting the fan. I feel like all around. I am going to continue tidying up around here and wait for the movers to call me and tell me that they're here. Hey guys, we are here. This is so exciting. I haven't seen it obviously without furniture, but um, I'm gonna do an empty apartment tour on Instagram. So you can go watch that but I'll show you quickly here. This is the kitchen. When you first walk in, like the door, the kitchen's right here, and we have a lot of space, and that is what we are going to be playing with. I don't know where I'm gonna do everything, and I know I want like a desk, a table, a bunch of stuff. I love that the kitchen's in a corner. It's different than mine right now, which is um, a galley kitchen. I think that's what it's called. And the main feature of this apartment, obviously, is the giant, giant balcony. This is the balcony. I, it's huge, guys. Like, I am so excited to completely deck it out, do some fun stuff, and the view is insane. I'm just so beyond lucky and blessed. Like, this makes it the whole thing. And we got, like, big glass doors. It's exactly what I wanted. Like, exactly. Look at that. Like, look at the view of the interior from this angle. I can't. So we're gonna have a lot of fun playing around with the balcony and all the stuff that we can do out there. Next to the door, this is a regular closet i'm probably gonna use this as a linen closet because there's no like hanging in there different than like my coat closet that i used to have but that'll be a great for towels and stuff then we have washer dryer so so great i didn't show but it's the same appliances that i have in my kitchen now which is a dishwasher obviously the stove gas top um and then the fridge and the freezer so 
great. It's probably the same size kitchen that I've now, just a different layout. But this is big, like voice echoing big. So yeah, so then we have, the, this is the linen closet like I just showed you. This was the washer dryer. This right here, we have the, my bathroom with the same sick views, unreal. A little bit of a different layout and I don't have that fold down thing that I have currently, but I'm gonna put like some sort of like storage situation in here. <laughs> I am obsessed, you guys, I'm freaking out, like my literal dream apartment. The view makes it all. I'm gonna be the naked neighbor, someone wrote back to my story. I already am the naked neighbor. It is what it is. And then the bedroom, it's significantly larger than my bedroom right now too, so really excited to play around with this. Don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, all I have is just the furniture that I currently have and we'll work with that and then we'll go from there. The previous tenants had like their dresser, they had like a little vanity. I kind of want to do a vanity because I like to sit down and do my makeup. Once again, we have the lovely view. Hello, New York. Yeah, so lots of room to play with. I'm not painting anything. It's gonna stay the same. And one of my favorite features of this apartment besides the balcony is that there is a walk-in closet, which is literally huge. So this is gonna be for coats and everything too though, because this is like the only closet in the apartment, but it's huge. Like I can stand on the inside of it fully and look out at my room, like unbelievable. Just feeling so, so grateful and a nice big light. So that'll be nice. Have a, the last time I had a walk-in closet was Boston and I definitely didn't take enough advantage of that, but it was really nice. I like that the doors open outward too. And that is the empty apartment. That's it, <laughs> that's all she wrote. The balcony, I can't even put it into words. It's almost the same size as in here. I don't know square footage wise what this, well, I actually don't know what we're working with square footage wise. I don't know. All I know is that it's probably like double the size of my current unit when you include the balcony square footage like it is big but we have a lot of space to play with out there so if you guys have any balcony ideas i would take those for sure i think i'll probably put the tv here some sort of desk here we'll see all right so just a quick update um at least it's bright in here now the sun is out a little bit i really want to get my speaker and just like play music and stuff but i'm going up and down i'm going to start to bring up some of the stuff the movers are stuck in traffic so they're gonna get here as soon as they can. And my mom is also stuck in traffic from the airport. So it's a solo move. <laughs> Boom, she's a strong girl. Look how pretty this background is gonna be. Guys, what? Literally a dream. Oh, also I didn't need to tell you guys, my luggage um, is lost in Las Vegas, which is where we had our layover. So I don't have any of my makeup, my like daily skincare, my like go-to bras, <laughs> you know? Like I had all my, my like a daily essentials in that suitcase so i'm really paying the price of that right now no makeup today but it's fine and even like my outfit could be better but you know it's a moving day let's keep going i'm just gonna keep bringing up stuff you guys look who made it oh my god it's my hat from my big party i went to it lights up she's here she's here and i'm wearing a hat do you guys think it was too much? I wore this in the Uber. She's literally the, the champion of all champions. The Actually, it really photographs wow. I know, right? So, roadway packed everything and we are like unpacking it. So this is like all the kitchen stuff. It's so great. And within, this was- They're doing it now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I didn't even show the furniture. So I don't know if it's gonna actually stay like this, but we literally just replicated the same setup from downstairs with the furniture up here. I'm trying to reuse a good amount because I know I'm gonna furnish like out there and you know. So I'm trying to be smart about like working with what I already have, but also splurging maybe on some nicer pieces, you know? These what? are nice. I think you got those for me. I like the way they're so flat on the bottom. She's Desserts. on the phone working. Okay, she's just crazy. Struggling with the fridge. Okay, we ordered some dinner from one of my favorite sushi places in the city, Zest Sushi. I'm so excited my mom's spending the night with me. We're gonna have a little gal's night. So to split, we got fried rice, edamame, and we each got soup. And then we did sushi. So my mom got some specialty rolls. I don't even know what. I just get salmon avocado every time. So, ooh, yum. These look so good. Yum. I need to know if anybody else's mom is actually insane like this. And wait, we're going on. This is the third First move. First of all, this is a mini food processor and it's brand new. I If you need know to chop that something, that's definitely something watch your people are gonna come in and come in hot also have you ever made a cake this is what you use i know but i haven't made a cake is the problem so she so generously gave me like her old this is new but that's like you gave me this like i feel like I it's know. like a family heirloom I know, like it really is go away i'm taking it home and every move we take it out of the box and we're like 
Oh, haven't used this in three years since I've. I don't even know where to put it now. I'm just gonna put it here for now, so I remember to take it. Look at the view, guys, at so night. Sad. It's so insane. So we're just going through all the boxes now, listening to Usher. Just, <laughs> just the gals. Is this the base of that. Yes, it's it's oh. a big boy. Good lord, you want to talk about taking up room? I, we're just like thinking this about the appliances that are. Crazy. I know, no, but you're it... gonna go to take this down. It's gonna hang on the head and die. <laughs> I mean, that is, this is terrible. But it's you powerful. Cannot, it weighs a million pounds. It's gotta go underneath. There's just a lot of appliances and stuff, and it's just a different kitchen setup. I'm putting it in the back of your pots and pans. Thanks, mom. You're the best. <laughs> well, I wanted to show everyone the view um, on the nighttime because some people were asking and I think it's even better at night. It's better at night in person though because you could really see like depth versus I feel on camera. It doesn't show depth. It really is so insane. What the heck? This is so crazy. Wow, I'm just feeling incredibly lucky. Um, the movers, I cannot even begin to put, like look at this, hi, me. The movers today were the real MVPs. Like my mom kept saying, she's like, I can't believe this. Like it. I knew it was gonna be that smooth just because I know other people that have done roadway, but wow. you were like really shocked. Shocked in a good, good in a good, way. good, yeah. good way. Basically, they put everything in the boxes for us, and we unpack on this end. Okay. But they took like the furniture boxes and stuff. He packed them downstairs, and then another guy literally put him back. Oh, here. I have to show you my bedroom. My bedroom's like fully done. Like it because is. Because of Alex. Yeah. Alex said Roadway, the real MVP. Like, set up my bed and everything. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you guys more of this. I think I'm gonna bring, um, my parents have in storage, this, like another full set, AKA like the same side table and the same lamp, because I had that in Boston, if you guys remember. Someone um, commented, Mom, and they said that this apartment's like a mix of the last two. And you know it what? really it is. Is. It is, it literally is. I'm about to make a little bit of a mess. Oh, that's okay. But anyways, the view in the bedroom is equally as insane. I just, anyway, I'm gonna stop vlogging, but because yeah, I have to help. Amazing. And we're okay. just, we're having a great day together. Considering we should have been in Charleston right now, I don't even know how this move would have gone. Danielle would have had a lot on her plate to, because she thing? was gonna do this for me. It's day two. We are now putting things away. Show them the cabinets. <laughs> Look at all the progress. Oh, okay, so my mom made me finish so I could show you guys exactly how complete it is. Do you wanna give them like a, just a quick sure, tour, just like open sure. up the cabinets. We also just got Starbucks and Uber Eats. Lovely um, glass. Ooh, so nice. This is gonna be all glass, like, so we have like wine, coffee mugs, just regular. Everyday drinking. Every, everyday drinking. Yay. Yay. Pantry. Um, it was nice because I already had like systems of like setup, you know, like with the bins and stuff. We moved. Love the bins. Yeah, they're from Amazon. I can link them down they're below. They're really great. They're really good. Um, and there's like the low ones, the high ones. Yeah, I'm I, a fan. More, more, more. Yay. Now like there's no boxes in the kitchen, which is nice. Yes. Oh, I didn't even show you guys like the furniture setup. We basically just duplicated what I had before. And it works. This living room, it's so funny because like I walked in and I was like, wow, it's so much bigger than what I currently have. But then you fill it with stuff and it's like not. So <laughs> but it is because you'll be able to do this whole area that you didn't wouldn't have had. Yeah, I'm gonna do a table on that. And side. also you're gonna get a rug and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then outside obviously will be like even more. Oh, but now you can show the, the windows because I clean the windows. Oh my mom cleaned the windows because she's the best with the glass cleaner. The view looks great. Some food. My mom gets the turkey bacon sandwich. I got the spinach feta wrap. Yum. What does that say? Brooke. It does? You don't think so? I get it. Yeah, it does. And then drink wise, I got a fancy one. Oh. I've been getting a, a, oh, I have to blend it. <laughs> I've been getting a unique order and she just got a nice coffee with uh, soy. But mine is a- Oh my gosh, I yeah. love it. Yeah, I know, it's perfectly delivery ready. I know, that's why it's an addiction ordering it because mm -hmm. it's like, it just comes to work. I get a venti shaken espresso with vanilla sweet cream foam almond milk and chocolate malt powder. Like that doesn't like make sense, but basically they shake the espresso with the chocolate malt powder and the almond milk. Mm. And then over it, it's cold foam. So it's really, cause it's really not, like it's it's not a full drink. Does that make sense? Yes, cause yes. the shaken espresso, they usually only pour like up to there. Yeah, I gotcha. It's really good, but I, I don't know. And it has like four shots of espresso. So it's really mm. good. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God. What I'm doing now, I put on a little bit of makeup. We just took a picture for uh, my Instagram. My mom's the best. We got a lot done, mom. I know, in a very short amount of time. Seriously. So now um, I am heading downstairs and then I'm gonna walk and get my car, which I do still have parked in the city, but not for much longer because my mom is gonna take it home today. I just 
haven't been using it like i've been using it like once a month maybe twice a month and it's just like not enough when it when i was coming home like going back to long island i should say or like traveling every weekend and using it it made sense but to not use it more than like once or twice a month. like it's just too expensive to park it in the city now i'm living in a bigger part like i just have other expenses than like it's worth it to you know you know leave it home and clutter up your parents house exactly like, <laughs> there's why not there's no room to park it there but we'll figure it out so i'm gonna go pick up the car and then come back here my mom will take i'm sending her home with a bunch of stuff i feel like this happens every move we're like oh i don't need this my mom's like i'll take it <laughs> like yeah. but it's good um i didn't even really show you guys like what's happening in the bedroom but that's because this is probably the messiest of the rooms so this is the last clip with my mom in it i just want to say how appreciative i am of you mm -hmm. She seriously saved. I don't even know how I like I was like if I didn't have her here Nothing would have ever, like the boxes would have just sat and sat and sat. That's what moms do girl. She's the best. I'm gonna go pull the car around for her. Danielle and I haven't seen each other for about 24 hours. So this is uh, <laughs> daily catch up. The daily catch up. I'm gonna see her tonight. Um, yeah, a I'm getting my um, The maintenance is out there power washing my balcony. They just didn't have time before I moved in so they're being so so kind and my mom left, so now I'm just taking care of biz, starting to unpack, taking it slow, now that she left. I can't wait to come see it. Yes, you. yeah, you do have to come see it all. Okay, so with my mom gone, now I'm working on just unpacking stuff. I've been just cutting open the boxes and putting things away. Roadway took everything out of my dresser, so I'm redoing my dresser, but they moved all of my hanging clothes in wardrobes and put them in the closet. So basically the rest that I'm doing, because the kitchen's pretty much done, so it's like clothes and then like all the bathroom stuff. I had a bathroom closet in the old apartment, and in this one, there's no closet like in the bathroom itself, so it's a lot of boxes. But I do have this linen closet out here, and this right here. I got a Dormify like bin basically, uh, not bin, what do I want to call it? We're gonna put it we're gonna put it together monday my parents are coming back on monday and they're gonna help me they, they're just so helpful but if you guys don't know my family home is on long island i think i said that before so it's only about an hour an hour and a half drive so it's not too bad in terms of like them coming in and they're the best you guys know that they came and power washed the outside before so it's looking nice um they're gonna come and repaint the ceilings up here and I stopped to order furniture. I actually moved my chairs inside. We're kind of staging what I want the apartment to look like. And I'm still figuring out, you know, what furniture I'm using, what I'm not. I'm definitely keeping the couch and I'm pretty positive I'm keeping the chair, even though it's pretty big. Pretty positive I'm gonna keep this coffee table. If not, I would get a very similar one that maybe just had a, like a drawer or something. So like glass, I don't know how that would look though. I think I'm gonna hang the TV. Uh, I have to get a rug. I got rid of my rugs because they were very, very dirty and unusable and I've tried cleaning them and they just don't clean, like, you know, professionally cleaning them and they just don't clean well. So I was like, you know what? It's time for some new ones. And this is my Ikea desk that I had in the old unit and the chairs, they're definitely outdoor chairs. They don't like go here, but my mom wanted to like stage it to see what it would look like with a kitchen table there. Um, and I think that's gonna be the setup. It'll be like a little bit bigger of a table and then two chairs, like a square table. I kind of want to get like a wooden table, like maybe like that light wood color, maybe with um, a drawer or some kind of storage. And this way it doubles as a desk because the space on in the inside here, like the main room isn't as big as you would think it is. Like when I walked in, it felt so grand and large, but it fills up quick, obviously with furniture. I wanted to keep the bar cart because I know I'll probably be doing a lot more entertaining with the patio balcony whatever we want to call it but the nice thing is that my room is a little bit bigger in this apartment and there's just like big hallways like it just feels bigger even though it might not be like actual space for furniture bigger it just feels much grander and obviously then the balcony like is bigger so it's definitely bigger but the balcony is like honestly the same size as this inside section which is so crazy it's basically like a second living room so that's what i'm gonna do with it i'm going to make it basically a second living room i have to order all of that too um, furniture wise i'm gonna get like a couch and stuff it's gonna look cute and i don't have wi-fi until tomorrow so figuring all of that out i'm flattening the boxes as i go to um honestly my goal is just to get through a bunch of these boxes because th those create clutter but this is a mess too so just gonna go through this all i have to charge my camera for a little bit i'll update you guys on the progress as we go is it what time is it it's already three o'clock Oh gosh, where is the day going? Ah, just lit some candles. I'm gonna do a TikTok of the view. 
but I've gotten so much done. I have the lights off just so I could see the view like in its fullness. I'm too lazy to turn them on to turn them off. You could see here the bed is clear for me to sleep on. It's still like a little chaotic in terms of stuff around, but like it's navigable now, which is nice. I'm trying to just get like the clutter away and really organize everything. I might do professional organizers because I know that's what a lot of people are doing these days. And I just feel like they could help me with the closet a lot and really like make the most of the space in there. It is big and it fits a lot, but I feel like it's taken up by coats and like bulky items. And then my shoes down there. So I don't know. I just feel like it could be organized better. Yeah, I mean the bed, the bathroom definitely. I still have some boxes and stuff that I'm working through. But look at that freaking killer view. The Empire State Building is pink tonight. I think it's for Breast Cancer Awareness Month because it is October, and I'm pretty positive that's what it is. I am going to go out tonight with some friends. I think all friends, like friends from college, and then Danielle. I think we're all going to go out together. But I think some of my friends are going to come here first and see the place, and maybe have like a small pregame, but not big. It's going to be like four of us, and then we'll go out. Also broke my nail before in moving, so I have to get that fixed on Sunday just a little bit it's really just at the top it's not anything crazy bad but I was just moving and grooving and messed it up yeah just in that short time that the sun like kind of went down I'll show you guys first before I film for TikTok stunning just unbelievable it's gonna be so pretty when it's all lit up but at this hour of day it's like gorgeous I could get so used to this I literally have the balcony door just like open while I'm getting ready shower put on a little all black outfit because it's like 60 degrees so it's officially all black season and i'm just getting ready in the bathroom with once again the gorgeous view it's insane i can't like unreal i have to do my makeup my friends are coming over in like 40 minutes i'm listening to some old hip-hop i have this playlist because we drink to our accomplishments just like old drake asap rocky Big Sean, it's like really good. She's really good. I wanted to end off the vlog. I'm on my balcony, obviously. It is unfurnished, so don't worry. Things are on the way. I'm starting to order everything. It's gonna be like a while before it's complete. I feel like I've said that, but anyways. I just wanted to say how thankful I am for each and every one of you guys. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I obviously wouldn't live here. I wouldn't have this life. I like, it, it's all because of you guys that this could be my job and this could be my life. And you guys know how grateful I am for each and every one of you. So subscribe to stay updated on the progress of like my furniture arriving, ordering more furniture, getting spaces organized because there's a lot of boxes in my bathroom and my bedroom. So we're gonna organize that. But I love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you all very soon in another vlog. And New York says goodnight. Good night, New York. <laughs> Bye guys.